Hello. Welcome to a special weekend edition of Chess with Chris. I thought we'd start off with some in-game puzzles just to get uh, warmed up. And maybe uh, we'll see what happens from there. Um, so yeah, let me bring up my uh, studies here where I have my collection of in-games. All right, so last time we did uh, in-game studies, we did the first, uh, I believe the first four. Um, and we did the fifth one as well. So it's the sixth one that we need to do next. Okay. <clears throat> and if you want to join along on Leech Us, the study link is right here in the chat. Okay. Um, so I also need to get ready to check the solution later. So let me bring that link up. Okay, and then I can show you the uh, the puzzle. There we go. So it's white to move. White has two rooks for the queen, and he's down a pawn. <clears throat> okay. So, one thing I noticed immediately is that any rook move, um, like east, right? Any any rook move this direction would threaten mate. Um. So that's something to think about. Um. Hmm. So the tricky part here is that I think that, I mean, it looks like black has like two different checks, right? So like he can check all day long on this um on this rank here and then like looks like looks like black has a draw because we can never stop the checks. <clears throat> There's one forcing line where you give up the rook and go here. But that doesn't seem to do anything. There's also this line where you give up this rook. King goes back there where this would be made. But what, hap what happens if the queen goes there? Gary Fang, welcome to the chat. How are you doing today? So, yeah, sacking these rooks here seems cool because um, it's a forcing move, right? Um, so this is cool because if, if king takes, that's mate, but of course, queen could take. Thanks for the follow, Gary Fang. Um, so if queen takes, what then? Solving tactics. These are, these are in-game studies. So yeah, it is tactical and it's meant to it's meant to practice and learn, you know, deeper calculation. But um, they're, they're, they're just a specific type of tactical problem. <clears throat> One thing to notice um, is that after rook here and then queen takes, if the rook were to move this way and say grab this pawn, the queen from uh, a8 doesn't actually have any safe checks. Um, if the queen were to try to check here, you know, we would just take the queen. And there's no checks on this file. 
and you know this this check we would just take the queen so with the queen here and this rook gone uh rook takes pawn actually seems nice because we're threatening checkmate and then like say the king moves over um then we would check skewering king moves out and win the queen and we could win that in game no problem so i feel like that's the answer right <clears throat> uh sacrifice the rook on a8 if king takes its mate, if queen takes, we just take the pawn. There's a, hey, welcome to the stream. No, you wouldn't do that. I think you're, I think you're joking. <laughs> it's good to see you, Arizona. Um, You prefer blenders, yeah. Okay, yeah, you wouldn't do that. <laughs> All right, so, <clears throat> so rook a8 is my idea. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's any sidelines that I missed. Um, so rook a8, queen takes. Rook takes pawn. We're threatening mate, and on any queen move, oh, the queen could go here, actually, to defend the mate threat. What do we do in that case? Uh, that's trouble. Okay, so now with the queen here, guarding the mate threat, um, I wonder if we could move the queen, move the rook somewhere where the queen could not guard the mate. Yeah, so like rook here, for example, might be more accurate because uh, the queen couldn't like go here, for example, to guard the mate, so we, we take this way. So taking the pawn is actually a mistake. Uh, we need to go somewhere where the queen can't guard the square. Radiohead on piano. It is, actually. <laughs> uh, it's a pianist named uh, Brad Meldow, and he covered several Radiohead songs. It's one of my favorite jazz pianists, and uh, he's known for covering Radiohead. Okay, um, so, so rook check, queen takes, so I, I have to assume that one of these squares with a rook is better than all the rest, for some reason. Um, so rook here, he can just move king over, and I don't have the check, right? So rook here is wrong. Um, rook here, the queen can't guard this square. Rook here... The queen can't guard this square, so how do you choose between these two? Hmm. I can't think of a reason to choose one of these squares over the other. Okay, so the the idea is to take to sack the rook, queen takes, and then to move this rook over to one of these two squares. But I cannot figure out which one. Okay, I'm I'm ready to give up. I don't want to spend too much time on any one puzzle. Um, so I'm going to bring this in here. This is my uh, source material. This is Chess King. ChessKing.com. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm going to test my first move. Oh, no. Okay, so that's not right. Dang. Well, you say that now, Gary. Where were you five minutes ago? I've been sitting here looking at rook a8 the whole time. Hmm. So I don't, I don't get, 
I wish I could play against. I can play against a computer in certain things. Um, I could do this on my iPad. I can play against the computer here, but it doesn't look like they've implemented that here. The queen can cover any of those squares that you try to mate him. I think. So. Whoa! What just happened? So here and then there. Oh, I see. He has queen back and then queen here. Yeah, I didn't think about the queen coming this way. I was thinking only about the queen coming down this diagonal. But the queen can come actually down, you know, to like rook a2 or a3. No, sorry, queen to a2 or a3 or a4 to guard any of these squares. Uh, okay. So we need to start over, basically. Yeah, the queen can come back this way. All right. So what if you change the order? What if you just move here? Well, again, if it's not if if our first move is not a check, then the queen can just, you know, check all day long on these squares. Um like he has all of these squares available to him to check me, right? So how can we win if we're not putting him in check? Oh boy. I wonder if, I guess these, uh, um, I guess these studies get more and more difficult because I'm, I'm, I'm struggling more and more. I have another check. Yeah, Ink State, I've noticed, I, I did look at this one briefly. Um, Hmm. Rook A8 is good, you just have to protect A8 first. Can H6 be any good? Hmm. That's an interesting hit, Ingstein. Um, so there's some, must, there's some way to prepare Rook A check. I mean, Gary, I, I mean, after h6, he still has that immediate um, draw, right, with the queen. Um, I, can, I can never cover all the uh, squares. Yeah, I mean, if we can force him to take the, the pawn, then I agree. But he can just check me to death, right, until a draw. It's a way to defend a8. Ignore the previous sense. <laughs> OK. All right. Um, Rook c8. 
I'm still looking at Rick C8. Um, because there's a there's a follow up check at Rook C5. Not sure. So Inkstain, you want to try to lay it out another way for me? I mean, <clears throat> if he ever, uh, something I noticed actually, if he ever checks me on this file, uh, I can block. And then if he ever checks me again, my king moves with check, like a discovered check. Um, so that could be useful. So he, he actually can't check me forever back here because as soon as I block here and then move my king once more, it's, it's a discovered check. So maybe we just threaten mate in a way that he can't defend. Like, like Rook here, right? He can't move his queen to, to work with the square. Um, Like he can't, he can't defend the square. Uh, right? Like Rook here, he can go King here. Oh, but then we check, Queen takes, and then win. Okay, so King there is not an option. And he can't defend the square, so what else does he do? He puts me in check, right? So I go rook here. You could also put me in check here, though. But then there's no more checks. If I block with the rook here, there's no more checks. He can't block me. He can't check me here because again, I have this discovery coming. Ah, oh, but Jesus, it gets complicated, right? Because um, with the discovery check, he goes this way, trying to escape. Oh no, the king. The king is already covering that square. But it go this way and then keep this square. Oh, but then both the rooks come out. Both the rooks cover both of these files. All right. I think I have it. Einstein, are you, are you with me? Am I, am I on the right track? <laughs> Did you follow any of that? <laughs> I'm going to try it. Okay, so the hint was actually something to do with the pawn and this. That's interesting. I'm going to try my move. Yeah, again, this is wrong. Oh, what are you doing? I'm not going to put my queen. I'm going to put my rook here. I really wish I could practice against the computer on this. Because I want to know why the rook thing with the discovery was it was a bad idea. Oh, there's a salt, there's a subtask. This is supposed to be like a hint. This is kind of a nice feature actually. Oh wait, there we go. You can see it better now. Um, so wait a minute, what happened? There it is. So solved subtask is where, uh, okay, or not. Okay, never mind then. Subtask is supposed to be a thing on the on the iPad version. I guess on the web version they don't have it yet. Okay, so this is not the answer. And they and the hint gave like a back rank thing to do with this pawn. So maybe maybe Gary's idea of H six um could uh could have something here. So like h6, uh, g takes, and then rook h7.
But then just like queen g8, for example. Be aware, quiescence errors. Calculate stuff, don't just assume. Hmm. Is there a whole point to promote the pawn? Yeah, I don't know. Don't just assume. I mean, I realize the point of this thing is to <clears throat> help me learn to calculate better, but it just it just feels too difficult. I don't I don't know. Like I, I had two ideas that I thought were fine, <laughs> and it didn't actually refute my ideas. You know, like <laughs> you've been on the right track at least once. Okay, Gary, Gary Fang says, wait, if h6, queen b7, we'll lose to rook b5, and queen g6, we'll lose to rook c6. Yeah, so, so Gary, that's what I was thinking, but not on the h6 line. I was thinking the same thing, like with um, rook e7. Oh, okay, so there's an easy way to actually defend against the mate that I didn't consider earlier. It's just um, queen f2 and then queen f8, right? Queen f2 check, you know, I block or I move, and then he can just come back to the back rank. So what's the deal... Um, Gary, why doesn't black just take on, take, G takes H6? Okay, check. Uh huh. So rook h7, I see. Yeah, because because this pawn's in the way, right? Aha. Uh -huh. You can't you can't come back this way to defend. Like this is the only square, right? That that, that can't be. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. All right. So the line we're, we're looking at earlier, um, h6, and then king over here, or sorry, rook over here threatens mate. But but you don't do that first. You have to do this first. Distract the queen, and then come here. Otherwise, like if you do this first, then queen comes here, check. Um, yeah, takes here. Queen here, check, losing the rook. So we can't do that first. We have to play this first. He takes. Let me go here, and the queen cannot guard the square. And if the the king tries to get out of the mate, he just loses the queen. Okay, that finally feels right because you know the the ideas I had earlier seemed seemed right, except for I missed that the queen could step back to, to defend any one of these squares. You have to put baby in a corner. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that's the only place you're safe, right? <clears throat> okay. So let me bring back Chess King and see if this is right. So h6. This is correct. It's 9 out of 110. Oh boy. Okay, so now we have to check here. 
Oh, that's 46 out of 110. Okay, now Rook here. Wow. Yeah, so I lost I lost a bunch of points on the first move. I, the, the, the reason I, I didn't get all the points on the on the first move was, was um was because I got two wrong answers. You know, I tried uh, rook a eight and um, rook e seven first. Yeah, ink stain. <laughs> You're right, man. These in game studies are hard. What if black starts checking along with some quiet move somewhere? Checking along with some quiet move somewhere. What do you mean checking? Oh, you mean instead of G takes H6? Well, let's, let's, um, let's answer that question with Stockfish. <laughs> so I'm going to go into this analysis mode where you can see the Stockfish line. Um, so I'm going to turn on the Stockfish here. Um, so the question was after H6, instead of, um, instead of taking, Yeah, so he's calculating mate in all of the checking lines, actually. That's what you mean by calculating and not assuming. It looks like it has a ton, but it's really just b2, f2, and g6, and they all go nowhere quick. Hmm. b2, f2, and g6, yeah. So on f6, you can just um, block... Uh, you can block with the rook, and then there's no more checks. On f2, on f2, a c5. Yeah, you, you block this way, and then if you one more check here, you block this way, and then you try this again. I just move my king, and he's in, ch or I move my king this way, and he's in check, and then the, we have this threat. RPD. Hi, Chris. You got got a now playing Spotify music thing. What tunes you're playing? Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's not on stream. So this song right now, you can you can actually do this command in chat. Current song, and uh, it it'll tell you the name of the song. Um. Yeah. So. Say so according to Stockfish, like G takes G takes H six is the strongest continuation. It's not a um like the checks the checks actually are much worse for, for black. <laughs> That's good to know, Ink Stain. Yeah, th this this um these puzzles, these in game puzzles are really interesting because a lot of them like this there's no extra pieces on the board, you know? Like there was there was a reason for every single one of these pawns to be on the board, both rooks and the queen, and they all had a they all had a say in the final solution. Like if this pawn was in here, our solution wouldn't work, right? Because then then uh black would have queen a1 saving the mate. It's so it's actually really beautiful. Uh the more you look at it, um once you see the solution, it's it's just it's incredible, actually, and and the fact that you have to sack one rook in order to win, uh, it's re really, really, really nice. Okay, well, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I feel like I just got started, um, but I need to actually sign off. Unfortunately, these uh these these unscheduled weekend streams tend to be pretty short. Um, I don't have a lot of time. But um, I appreciate you guys looking at this in-game study with me. Um, and thanks for joining. Uh, let's see. I'll see you guys next time.